guys, it's your girl Pammy here and welcome back to my channel. So today is my 32 week update and you guys know the feel and the gist of my videos. I am pretty laid back, so just sit back, relax, and grab a cup of coffee, tea, juice, smoothie. If you guys are new to my channel, welcome, hello, hello, hello. I am 32 weeks long with my second baby. Today it's going to be a little different though. Um, I normally tell you guys how I'm feeling, cravings whatsoever, but Today is going to be a video of where I answer questions and um, I feel that I've been getting a lot of repetitive questions in the past and I feel like I need to kind of clarify and justify those for you guys and for you guys who are new to my channel, this is perfect for you guys as well. So Kloasi is obviously my first one, which is my baby girl. And I'm expecting baby number two, which is a boy. So with Kalesi's heartbeat, when we first got an ultrasound, her heartbeat was at about 160 beats per minute. And it eventually went down to like 155, 156. It was just kind of fluctuating between that rate. Um, with baby boy, um, when we first got it, it was about 140. So far have gained a total of 19 pounds and I'm at about 133.3 something pounds right now. So my doctor didn't want me to, doesn't want me to gain more than 25 pounds in total. I still have two months to go. So I mean my weight gain could really be anywhere from, I don't know. With Kalesi I gained about 39 pounds and you know I was really healthy with her and I was active as well. So being that I'm not as active with this pregnancy, um, my weight gain can really just fluctuate and be beyond the 25, which I'm not going to stress about because I feel like you can't just have a pregnant woman gain this much weight and make her feel guilty that she's gained past her expected weight. Um, with this baby, I obviously am in the warmer season, so I've been wearing a lot of just maxi dresses and oversized dresses and tops. And the leggings, of course. I am not a shorts kind of person. I just despise my legs. I just don't love them. So I don't love showing them, especially that I'm pregnant now. This top is actually a dress and I got from Old Navy and instead of buying like a normal extra small, this is a small and it's pretty big and it fits me very well, especially because my stomach area is getting bigger. This dress actually hugs and is a little bit loose. So I like to shop around just the stores that I normally like to go. I don't like to spend a fortune on maternity clothes. I never really did with Chloe and I don't think I will with this pregnancy as well. So ladies, just buy a size up if you guys are looking for maternity clothes. You guys all know my cravings was all over. It wasn't really like steady and I didn't have anything that I really didn't like. But right now, um, I can't think of anything that I really crave, but it's just kind of out there and I'm not like splurging in anything really either. So it's kind of up in the air. I actually got a phone call two days ago from my doctor's office and usually no news is good news. And when I got a phone call from them, I was freaking out because I seriously thought something was wrong with my results. And so I asked the nurse and the nurse was like, oh, don't worry about it. I just wanted to call you and let you know that baby is at an average um, weight and he's healthy. He's at a three pound, he's at three pounds and seven ounces right now, and he's at a 37th percentile. I really don't know what the 37th percentile really means and what they factor into that because they don't get the weight, or they get the weight, but they don't get the height. So when I go back on the 9th of this month, I'll just kind of get a little bit more clarification on the ultrasound and I'll update you guys in my update. Honestly, I haven't had any new stretch marks along my body or my belly area or abdomen. The only new stretch marks that I've discovered the past couple of days are my buttocks. I do have some along the line of my booty, left and right, just right on top. 
of it. So that means my booty is expanding and I'm glad that it's in that area because I don't expose that area, obviously. Not to you guys or in public, but swimming wise, like I'm glad it's not in the midsection, but I can't say that now because with Kloessi, I got all of my stretch marks at like the very end of my third trimester. So um, it could be a change, but as of now, I don't have any new ones, but the bottom. <laughs> You know, when I first found out that I was pregnant with Kloessi, I was kind of that person where, you know, I'm going to have a birth plan, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, I can't, I'm going to go all natural, but everything was kind of like opposite of that. I feel like with Kloessi, I was just like the first time mommy kind of person where I'm going to do this and do that. But with baby L with this pregnancy, especially 32 weeks, I just feel like, I'm gonna relax and not stress about anything. I'm just gonna let it be and let it flow. Especially because I was induced for like 16 plus hours with all those contractions with no medication or epidural till the very end. I feel like that really toughened me and made me stronger to think that I can go natural with this pregnancy. So in terms of birth plan, I am planning to go natural, but anything can change. So, you know, I don't know. I don't have anything as of now, but when the time comes, I can only say it, it's really up to the time. Um, but I'm just kind of free falling. I'm going to try natural vaginal birth again with no medication or epidural. And if things change, it changes. And I'm not going to be upset about it because I'm not. So those were all the questions that I got from you guys that were repetitive. And I just thought that I had to clarify them because... They're kind of nice to just kind of go over, especially because I am at the very end of my pregnancy as well. Like seriously, I'm at 32 weeks. This is kind of scary. I'm a little nervous because I have a toddler. Kloessi's turning 18 months in like a couple of days and then I'm gonna have a newborn in like two months. If so, maybe less, who knows. So I'm a little nervous. How am I feeling at this point in my pregnancy? I am sick to death, especially my throat. Um, my throat has not been friendly at all to me. The past two weeks, I actually had a really bad cough and phlegm, and then I had, um, mucus, you know, all that junk, and a sore throat. That was two weeks ago. A week ago, it came back. I am miserable right now, but currently what I'm taking for that is Robitussin Peak Cold Cough and Chest Congestion DM. Now, I've had a lot of different opinions and um, just a huge controversy about taking medication during pregnancy, especially because I am in my third trimester. Uh, but this was approved by my doctor and approved by the kind of like the list of items that you can take when you're pregnant. So as long as it has dextromethorphan, HBR, it's a cough suppressant, then you're good as long as it doesn't have alcohol. But I mean, a lot of doctors are very, they're just, they're very different, so ask your doctor, ask your OBGYN what they think about taking medication, especially if you're going through what I'm going, like just hell, basically. Um, this hasn't really helped much. I feel like it makes me cough even more. And also I've been taking this Bigelow Lemon Ginger Herbal Tea, and this actually just helps soothe the throat. And I've been taking this for the past couple of days and I find that this really helped me last night. I was just literally coughing my life away last night. I can't even tell you guys, I get so pissed off. And um, this is caffeine free, all natural. And this stuff really helps with the throat, especially the ginger and the lemon. I feel like those are two great combinations. And it does also suggest to add a little bit of honey into your tea to kind of help soothe the throat. This has been my best friend so far at this point. Without this, I think I'd be like miserable. I am miserable right now, but I hope that you guys are having a wonderful day. Stay tuned, keep yourselves updated. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you guys in my next video.